motion goggles that I can see but have like full coverage around my eyes. And maybe that's what it is over there. Maybe it's like, you know, I just need some shields. Absolutely. As we get into game one in the Indiana team fight here at Full Bloom, we've got Steve versus Rosalina in a matchup that I know DeBuzz is not the biggest fan of, but one that is still doable, right? Rosa has so many opportunities to just get in, disrupt Steve, catch them lacking, and both of these are characters that really require you to have knowledge of what your opponent's game plan is trying to be. Yeah, and I mean, you know, we got Booms piloting that Rosalina, and on the other side, we have Skibbity Blockenheimer, all right? So I think uh, no one's surprised by that name, considering the character that is being piloted by that individual, but... So far, it's actually a pretty close game. Yeah, and skipping with this Blockenheimer before the Steve player main was actually a Chrom player. So talk about by like, jumping up the tier list with that one. Also, not only number nine on the Indiana PR here, but number one at Purdue. By right? one of the best players, not only in the state, but the best player at their college, and now trying to push here and find, as projected, a win over Booms, but Booms not making it easy, finding the first stock. However, you gotta keep an eye on that resource bar in the bottom left, Lambo, because that diamond is here, and it is going to be terrifying. Yeah, I want to see kind of how Skibbity kind of plays around Booms here. I feel like Booms has been going for a lot of up smashes, at least in that preliminary stock. Seems to be the kind of... The, the way that they're going to be fishing for a lot of these KOs was able to read a spot dodge, I believe. And so it's like, are you just going to keep letting that happen? I feel like that works earlier on in the set. And then as the set continues to play out, it's going to be harder and harder for Booms to figure out how to find those knockouts. Great pickup there, by the way, from Booms finding that stock. Read the DI out to look for that F smash, but still managed to clean it up afterwards. We're now going to find a potential huge combo starter. Opting to swing for Luma, though, allows Booms now to find the reversal, get a huge potential edge guard scenario, but is not going to be able to capitalize. And so now Skibbity Dibby gets to find the, a chance right, to rack up these resources and maybe get a reversal going. Okay, and so far, I mean, it's still looking pretty good for Booms. We got Luma just saying, hey, yo, have some. Mm, I got unlimited... <laughs> Little, uh, it's like when you go to Saku, Japan, and they got the little teriyaki chicken on the plate, and just handing them out for free. I'll smash again, not enough, but yeah, I, I know Booms is gonna fish for another one. I can feel it in my bones. Can we read another spot dodge with enough smash? And that, we've seen that time and time again, that these attack cancel desyncs with Luma here, or, but you do the dash attack cancel, so, it, so only Luma does the dash attack. That's why we see her shoot so far away when them still synced up. up to trap these landings and boom, boom's gonna lose the stock there, just overshooting a little high, right? Rose's recovery sometimes a little hard to get exactly where you want Whoa. to, but a potential dangerous situation is not gonna find its mark after the last one did, and now oh. a chance. Kidnap. Do we go for double? Oh no, the angle is atrocious. And that's what we were talking about, right? It's just sometimes a little hard to get that to go where you want it to. It cost the booms the second stock and unfortunately the third as well and just not where you want to be as now i'm sorry are oh, we wait, hold on set? lock in yeah, full on this is a full on science arc man this is a science experiment happening right here got sugar got spice everything nice do i see chemical x that is the difference is that you know what i'm gonna start calling diamond chemical x my friend Diamond Kemp. Yeah, yeah, man, because that's, the, that's definitely that. the X Factor for Steven. Oh, the that's a lot of notes. The oh, TI-84? Wow. No way. No, we fully locked in. Yes, we show me them We are locked in. Yeah, what? Hold on, guys. What's, oh, what's, what's going to happen? Oh, as, 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 as we put the calculator on top, cover those notes up for what's coming next. We're getting into game two here, also on PS2. The alternate Steve skin coming out and a whole lot of damage off those axe combos. Okay, here we go. Hopping into game two, Booms, I feel like really should have won that game one. I, that's how I felt. I, I, I can't even go as far as to say that, but I don't think it should have ended like that. Even if they went straight up with the Rosalina recovery and ate another back here, they would have survived at that percent, I believe. And so it's unfortunate that it ended the way that it did there, but it means Skibbity Blockenheimer has another game to work with if they lose here. More time to adjust. They were having a tough time, not getting caught by up smashes. Lost both of the stocks earlier in that last game. Two up smashes, one on a spot dodge and the other on a landing. So they have to be careful. That has been the one thing that has been like the lava for them. Now Blockenheimer, right, 
trying to just find open, and we've already seen some new and creative traps here. But Flambo, the thing you gotta remember, this isn't Smash 4. Rosa in Ultimate is one of the hardest working, honest characters in this game, and Steve, well, might just be the farthest thing from it, and unfortunately, it's not gonna be this blue collar Rosalina finding the first stock as Blockenheimer gonna do it, has Diamond in the tank, and you gotta find this one fast, Flambo, because things might just get out of hand. All right, Booms, you know Booms is looking for them up smashes, trying to catch the landings that back here, forces Blockenheimer to the corner, and can we get a read here? Look at that, looking for the roll to the corner, but instead we get a roll to center stage from Blockenheimer. Booms has the right idea here, still really wants to heavily rely on those up smashes. I think mixing in a back air here might be the mix up that they need. And there it is, you see they put one out there to try and hit those up tilts, cause it's getting a little bit obvious now, but they aren't able to get the KO. Can we get it in the corner here? The ledge trapping needs to be pristine, and no, Blockenheimer gets back to the stage with no issue at all. I love where Booms is holding this positioning. Right, you're a simple initial dash away from being able to use, as we just saw, right, forward air and air to cover the platform. But in holding center stage, you're really limiting what Steve's mix-ups are with that open space. You're taking away their ability to platform camp or speed bridge over you. And not only is it just holding center stage as a key, but you're able to cover so much because of Luma relative to platform that you're just forcing Oppenheimer, Blockenheimer to throw those up tilts out with nothing above you, with no blocks and resources, and force them to just make a much more committal openers than Steve otherwise would have to. Okay, let's see. Hopefully, Forest Smash is enough to KO here, so Skibbity Blockenheimer looking uh, a little comfortable now, right? I mean, quick 32% in counting, max rage 178%, and you still mining. You got a dive in there. That was an ill advised upward special, yeah, but you, despite that, we're good. You tried to catch the dash in there, right? Because that button does have a hitbox on it. Yes. It does, at the end, combo into an up smash, so potentially what we were looking for there, but Blockenheimer not going to find it, is going to catch the roll in with that down smash though, and that is a whole lot of extra damage, Flambo. Jeez. At 230, Steve is not heavy. Rosa just has not been able to find a single hit, and it's not going to find it at all because you just bl explode yourself on the shield, man. That's a suicide bomber right there. Yeah, sometimes you just got to... <laughs> You just gotta let it rip. Sometimes you're done. You gotta end it all. Looking like 2B in Grand Blue Fantasy Versus, you know? Mm. Gotta swap to the new outfit. Now, granted, we just have the same on Steve here, but this is gonna be a, a pretty tough one for Booms, I think. I think after kind of throwing away that game, one was never quite really able to recover. He's gonna try to get some pot shots in with Luma. The classic. Oh, the classic. No! Uh, why do bad things happen to good people, Flambo? Why do bad things happen to good people? Because that is what I'm thinking of right now. Uh, that tech is straight from Twitter.com to Full Bloom here in Indiana as Blockenheimer takes it 2-0. Not the bunker. Yeah, man. Not the Look at the notes, though. Look at the notes, though. Hold on. Let me take another page. Hold on. I'm writing this one down for the camera. Pulling out the Sharpie. Say less. Okay, they're pointing it. Yes. Yo, yeah, we got are, the angle. What, what, what do you what, have to say to the people? Uh-huh. Oh, oh, line. we got no. the reset, we got the reset. reset, reset, and I don't know if you Again. see behind us, Flambo, the crowd is starting to pick up, uh, Blockenheimer very much a showman here for the people, uh -huh. and I have a lot of respect okay. for that. A block, and another block, okay, ooh, three, oh, and we, oh no, we in the bunker, we in the bunker. Oh, I, I see what's happening here, hold on, what's the writing, what's it say, what's it say, folks? We are going to find out here in just a second. Their hair is too and luscious. Their arm is too long. We can't see the words. What's it say? What's it say? Oh, they're writing formulas. They're writing formulas. Ex oh, I get it. I get it. Flambo, Flambo. They did minecart because it is strong. <laughs> <laughs> they did minecart because it is strong. Why would you not? Hey, man, it works. Why would you not? They locked in. They locked in. Thank you, Professor Utonium. I learned today. Minecart, forward smash, delicious. Man, you know, this is why we're here. This is what Full Bloom is all about. You know, oh my God, here we go, look at that. Uh, oh my God. And you don't get spiked there or because of that block, uh, you, that minecart doesn't get hit, so it doesn't get broken. So you're still just getting caught in it. It's just like a weird, awkward interaction to armor through that spike and then find the stock afterwards off the up smash. Wow. I think, I'm gonna be honest, even though Booms is from the same state here, right, they've, pr they've definitely played before, I don't think that he's ever gotten hit by that one before. 
I mean, I'm sure. I am sure that he has not because, like, who does that? The, the, who does the that? The bag of tricks is like if you, if you reached your hand into Santa's bag of gifts for children on Christmas, you would pull out something different every time, right? And that's what Steve is. It's just like so much crap. He's a. It's a you know what it is, Flambo? It's like in Baldur's it. Gate, right, my friend? Okay. It's that chest of mundane things. Yes. Things, right? You you look at Steve, you're like, oh, he can't be that bad, right? This is a really large chest that holds a lot of completely normal stuff. And then you start pulling stuff out of the bag and you're like, this isn't what I what, what it looked <laughs> like, like in here. What? This is ridiculous. <laughs> I thought this was a toothbrush. <laughs> you know, that's, that's the way Baldur's Gate be, man. The, the chest of mundane things, though, is very nice for... Uh, you know, if you're trying to They're carry, fancy, like you're trying to min-max your inventory and you want to make stuff take up less weight. Dude, and I, like I put I put two things in there. I put barrels. Yep. Yep. And I uh put put my uh put my enemies in there after.